Hello, welcome to this video. This video will be about how to uh, use an FTP client to uh, transfer files from one uh, ser from one computer to the re uh, to your server remotely. Um, so to do this, let's go ahead and get started. To do this, you'll want to make sure that the server or machine that you want to FTP to at least has the right port open. And the port uh, that we need to use and open on our server is going to be port 21. And you want to open that on your firewall. So I'm already logged into my server remotely through SSH. And let's just go ahead and look at the, um, the firewall settings that are already on there. It's sudo UFW and then status. UFW, as we've stated in previous videos, is the front end for IP tables for your uh, firewall on your Ubuntu 16.04 Linux. I've already configured uh, port 21 on uh, this firewall, but I just wanted to go over it with you. Okay, so as you can see, port firewall is opened and, uh, or I'm sorry, Port 21 has been configured and open so that we can go ahead and uh, FTP in to this uh, uh, ser server and go ahead and transfer files. Now, what I want to show you before we start that is, is I had made a mistake earlier. I had made a mistake and opened up port 23 because I thought that was the FTP uh, protocol. I forgot that that was for Telnet and not for uh, uh, FTP. So, while we got the uh, UFS uh, uh, firewall up and running, let me go ahead. I've, I showed you guys on a previous video how to open up ports, but I did not show you how to delete the port if you don't need it. So, let's just go ahead and for an exercise, we're going to go ahead and open up the port 23. Okay, and that's with this command: is sudo UFW space allow space port 23 and then you press enter. The rule has been added so let's check it out with the status command sudo UFW space status. Okay there you can see port 23 has been open. Now to go ahead and delete it first thing you want to do is deny the port so let's do let's clear hit enter a few times. Okay, so let's go ahead and deny the port first and that's going to be sudo UFW deny and that's port 23 press enter. Alright, now let's look at that. We'll do a sudo UFW and look at status. Alright, port 23 has been denied and now let's just go ahead and delete the port. So let's do a clear again press enter a few times and then the command to uh, delete it will be sudo space ufw space delete space deny space 23 press enter and the rule has been deleted so it's going to be sudo ufw and then status now to be honest you could probably delete it without denying it. Okay, if you want to try that experiment, experiment, let's go ahead and try that. So let's go ahead and add 23, port 23 again. So sudo space UFW space uh, allow space 23 clear and then sudo UFW status enter. Okay, now let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and uh, delete port 23 without denying it. So it's just sudo space w space, let's see, let's do a allow, oh wait a minute, let's do a delete space allow space 23 and press enter. Rule has been deleted, so let's go ahead and clear it and then just to check it, sudo UFW space uh, status. And yes, we were able to delete the uh, port without denying it. 
So you could do either or. You can deny it and then just leave it alone, or you can deny it, then delete it, or you can just delete it. Okay, but I just wanted to go over that real quickly um, for uh, exercise. And so now, the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and show you is how to go ahead and FTP remotely to your server. Okay, from your from your other machine, and other than open the port on um, on your server, there's nothing else you need to do. You've already installed the required packages because uh, Open SSH server will allow you to use secure FTP. Okay, so let's just go ahead and minimize this. Now there are, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of uh, FTP clients that you can use. But what you're going to want to do is you want to download an FTP client and then you're going to use the FTP client to log into your server. All right. And for me today, I'm going to use FileZilla. FileZilla comes uh, with a lot of operating systems. I will include the links, any, uh, um, any links that I find for how to install uh, FileZilla on your operating system. Meanwhile, to continue with the video, I'm just going to go ahead and open up my FileZilla. And this is what you're going to see. No matter which operating system, they should all be the same once you install FileZilla. Okay, on this side, you will see um, the, local, the local computer. Okay, and that's the computer, that's your regular computer. Okay, and then on this side, you will see the remote computer. This is usually the server that you're trying to FTP to so that you can add your files. Usually, like if it's a web server or a file server and you need to remotely log into it, you can go ahead and do it with this FTP client. Now, to go ahead and start with, what you want to do is you want to type in the host name. Now, for us, this is going to be a secure FTP, so we go ahead and do it just like we would a regular uh, web address. Uh, but instead of HTTP, we're going to type in SFTP colon forward slash forward slash and then the IP address of the server we want to FTP to, which is 192.168.1.11. And then we want to go over to the username. We want to type in the username, which is MXWIL. Then we want to put in the password for that user. And then you can come over to port. You can go ahead and choose to put in port 21, but usually it go ahead and does that by default. Okay. And then you go ahead and just click on Quick Connect. And it went ahead and connected to our server. All right. So what you want to do is you want to come over to your local site, and for us, we want to come to. Let's go to the desktop folder. Okay. And then over on the remote site, we are already logged in under the uh, MXWIL folder. Okay. Now, to transfer a folder from your local machine to your remote machine, you just choose the folder. Okay. Let's choose another folder. And then you can either drag and drop. Okay. You can drag and drop. And as you can see, up here at the top, the folder was successfully transferred. There it is right there. Okay. That's the first way of uh, transferring it over there. Also, you can delete a folder. Okay. So you just right click to delete it. You right click and you choose delete. And then you press yes. And that folder has been deleted. Now the other way you can move the folder over there is you can right click on the folder that you want to uh, uh, upload and then you choose upload. You just want to make sure that before you do that on your remote side you are already into the folder that you want to upload to. So 
if you want to upload into downloads you want to go ahead and open up downloads all right if you don't want to upload if you don't whatever folder you want to upload to you want to make sure that on the remote site that folder is already highlighted and chosen and then you just come back over to your local site you right click on it and you choose upload and as you can see up at the top here it says it was a successful upload and then if you look over on your remote site it has already been uploaded so it was a successful upload so that's the best way that I use it uh, uh, FileZilla and you can use it for transferring files both to and from your uh, your different computers you could also download a folder from your local from your remote site to your local site and you just do it the same way if we just delete this folder over here on the local side you just hit delete really delete all of the selected files and folders yes okay and then again if that's the folder you want to move to your local site you just right click on it and you can choose download and it will download from the remote site to the local site and there it is right there as well as you can drag and drop you can drag it over there as well if you want it to okay so the only other thing that we're gonna go over is if this is something you're gonna be doing on this remote server several times you might want to go ahead and consider making a shortcut in the uh, let's see site manager side yep on the site manager so you just come over to the site manager you or you could left click let's see here hold on there's a quicker way of doing it, of saving it oh let me see copy current con uh, there we go copy current connection to the site manager so you left click it okay and this is all of the information and what you want to do is you want to give it a name I just say um, remote server right and then you just want to press enter and that server is saved alright so now next time if you want to log into it quickly you can okay let's just go ahead and click on OK alright and then we can go ahead and close the server uh, the remote uh, FTP we can close the FTP client now let's say it's the next day and we got some more work we want to do on the server you just go to your FileZilla uh, client left click on it and then you go over to the site manager which is this little button right here you left click on it and you choose whatever uh, server you want to work on which for us is going to be remote server for now and then you just click on click uh, on connect and that's just an easy way of uh, transferring your files from one server to a, or from one computer to another so thank you very much uh, I thank you for looking at my video please like and subscribe and you have a good day